What is up everyone? So are Scrimba's coding courses worth it? So I actually just completed the React Bootcamp on Scrimba and let me tell you my thoughts. And in case you have never seen this website before, but you're currently learning code, then let me just go through it really quickly and showcase why I think Scrimba is probably one of the best platforms that I've ever, ever seen in terms of learning programming or coding. So right now, this is their site design right here, and pretty much they have courses here. And it's mainly front-end style, so like um, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React, Vue, etc. But let me just go browse all really quick. And most, they have a lot of free courses right now. So in case you are like, oh, is this a paid only thing? It's mainly free, but in case you did want to pay, they have a, um, they call them boot camps. Actually, let me erase React, because that's the one I'm gonna talk about today. But basically here are the paid ones and the current prices when I'm filming this are $39 for the boot camps, which seems a lot higher than the typical course that you see like on a Udemy or like even like a free tutorial website. So even I at the first I was like, man, there's no people talking about the courses. So I was like, figure, let me check it out, see why they're at this price. And also, are they even actually quality courses? And let me tell you, I just finished the React Bootcamp and I'm gonna talk about that one in this video. And I literally enrolled in the JavaScript one just a couple minutes ago because I love this one so much. And I was like, man, I need to fill in some gas with JavaScript. So I'll let me just get the JavaScript one too. So uh, they also have like CSS view and then UI stuff too. But let's go on to the actual uh, React Bootcamp one for this video. And then I'll make another review on the JavaScript one once I complete that. So in case you do want to see that, then definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can see that video too. But here I am and actually did watch it just to make sure have 100% completion on here. And just quick background, here is the instructor Bob I think Zirlo. And apparently right now, I don't know too much on his background, but he is, um, at least right now, he's the director of education at a coding bootcamp called V-School. I don't know too much about V-School or anything about them really, but apparently since I guess since he is an instructor at a coding bootcamp, it helps them a lot in terms of actually teaching courses. And uh, this is the bootcamp. So this is the paid version. You can see here, these are the um, table of contents. So I think you can see these two yourself, even if you're not um, paid yet. But before you even consider checking it out, there's the free one for React that I had to watch first. And just know, in case you have no idea, if you had just saw this my first video on my channel, I'm essentially documenting myself, learning how to code, and I just started learning React. And I've only seen two courses so far. Well, technically, I guess you could say three, but the first one was on front end masters. And it was a little advanced, even though it said as for beginners, because I didn't know the basic syntax or any of the um, like beginner stuff. They just went straight into building some sort of little project. So I didn't really follow along with that course. But here, this is a free one, six hours long. This course was so good, and I was like, man, let me get the bootcamp. I just, I gotta get the bootcamp, because this, this one was just so awesome. So in case you just don't wanna pay right now, check that out, and then you can figure out if it's uh, worth it or not. And no, I'm not uh, affiliated with them in any way. This is just literally me giving my honest opinion on what I think about their courses. And I'm gonna show you something that's really crazy that why I think it's probably why I like this course so much, that literally I have zero other knowledge of websites out there doing what Scrimba is doing. Maybe there is a competitor, but uh, I just have not um, heard of them. If you do know any company that has a similar setup, comment them down below. But you'll see, if in case you've never heard of them, why you're probably gonna like Scrimba a lot, just like me. Okay, so let me just click on some random. Uh, yeah, let me just click on this random video here, and let me make sure you have the muted, and then let me speed it up just so I'll show you what's going on. So. Pretty much, this is the video. So let me just play it just for a couple seconds. And you can see here, uh, let me, this is, so this is the instructor, he's editing the text right now. And to the normal person, if you look at this, this looks like a typical code editor where they're just, you know, screen recording their computer, teaching code, and they got their little tabs on the left side over here with the files and whatnot. However, this is what is game changing about Scrimba that I think is the reason why I like their uh, the course so much, and I end up getting the other bootcamp too, is because I can go in here and just start typing like, "Hey, subscribe if you can read this," and it's literally 
a built-in code editor in the actual course while you're watching the video like it's crazy and let me just show you the cool thing so like for instance let's say his challenge for this is to change this class into a function so let me go here and just do that like I'll do it like right now live and I gotta delete this change it to parentheses and then I gotta get rid of all of this stuff up here get rid of this render and then I need to take out this and basically we have this little mini uh, like browser so if I hit here and run code it says it right there and in case you don't believe it you'll be like hit the like button and I should use slash p boom run the code and it literally updates as if like I'm on VS code or something but this is in the video of the course so and the craziest part is when I hit play it resets back to whatever he was showing me previously and he just continues with whatever he was teaching and what reason why this is so crazy is because if I go to this little uh yeah, I don't know why it's on full screen. I go over here and go to my notes. This is I had stuff earlier. Let me just delete these. Yeah, just get rid of all of this. If I click on this notes, you'll see this is what I just showed you that I typed live on this uh, video tutorial. And then I can just save this. And this this is so cool because the thing is with the structure of the boot camp, so in case you're wondering, is it worth the money? I'll tell you really quick how the structure is and then why it's actually was at least super easy for me to understand versus other courses I've seen. So if you've taken any other courses on like Udemy or even YouTube where they give you some sort of like a little practice problem or like a coding challenge while you're watching it. And usually the first few questions are easy, but then it gets to the point where it's so complicated that if you miss like the simple parentheses or like a curly brace and you have all this code written out, you can't do the challenge and you just go crazy and get frustrated and you end up losing motivation. But for here, the, uh, the way the instructor uh, sets up the course is he tries to put in a little mini challenge like every few videos or almost like every other video kind of way to where it's like back to back, except they all build upon each other and they're not too crazy of a gap. Like it, the entire course is built on top of each other video and each challenge helps you reinforce that actual thing versus other content or other courses I've seen where they just come up with some crazy challenge that like you've never ever seen before in your life and you have no idea how to do it because you can't literally you don't visualize what they actually are trying to say and the cool part too is about here is like they can um for this one like in case there's something on like the react docs that you he didn't really go in depth onto he'll just like log it so he'll just put like um i'm not gonna put the link but like imagine it's just say react docs.com like i don't know the actual dot like exact website but whatever this is and he'll put like the http the actual link you get the point like you can literally copy and paste links in here while he's teaching and then you can just copy these into your browser and just read about the docs to complete the challenge over there so that's the coolest part about this and let's say for instance there's a crazy challenge because there's some that i got really stuck on and like let's say there's a bunch of code just pretend hypothetically there's a bunch of code on your screen and you just you're just stuck you have no idea what's going on that doesn't matter because what you could do is you could like go back into the video see the code and then you know sneak a peek at it and see uh, what you miss or if you're just completely lost and like i go back into my notes i could literally just play the video because always whenever they give a challenge they show the solution right after it so in case i'm just stuck and i have no idea what i'm doing I just play the video, boom, it shows the code, the last code that he was just on, and then it continues with the course. So that's the craziest part about this platform that I think, not even just Bootcamp and React in general, but just like the actual way of learning. But I think specifically for this React Bootcamp, the instructor is extremely good at teaching, like reinforcing you, making you repeat a lot. He like he makes you repeat a lot of the little things that um, other content creators, I'm pretty sure they would just like, say it really quickly and then boom they breeze through the next content or next video but here like the most simple thing like an example for instance um like i don't know for this video in particular there's not really much i can show but like let's say examples like he shows you how to export default app by literally typing that in so he'll just pretend he'll type it out and then he'll be like pop quiz now it's your turn 
type exactly what I just did. And it's, a, it's more complicated stuff like that. But some of that stuff checked me because usually I'm like, I think I'm focused. And then like all of a sudden I'll like zone out. I'll look to the left or right. I'm like, oh man, did I actually, did I actually understand what he's saying? Or was I just like staring at the screen the whole time? So it's cool like that. And then you go export. And then you'll be like, did he put um, capital A, lowercase A? You don't remember. So now you have to go back and then, you know, correct yourself. So this is just like the coolest part about this um, website and the overall thoughts on the actual React bootcamp. And I haven't taken any other like big React courses, so I can't really comment on how they compare, but I've taken JavaScript and like CSS HTML course. I can tell you right now there, the way these are taught, even the JavaScript one right now is pretty cool. I'm not far enough into it to make any comments on it yet, but at least for React, I can say this course was really eye-opening, really amazing the way you taught it. And I can always go back to these whenever I want to. So that's just my current thoughts on it. So at the end of the day, is it worth the price, the premium price that it is compared to other courses? I say definitely if you have money to afford it and you are interested in learning about the specific language for React, at least for this bootcamp, then definitely I would say check it out. Definitely go with the free version first and then you can make that decision because it's pretty similar. Just the difference is the the content that he has but any day i would definitely recommend this to anybody out there who asked me if they want to learn of it and again it's not like super crazy crazy in depth where it's like building complex applications but you still actually build stuff so if i click on here to go to the bottom you build these sort of things as you're in the actual um code editor so this one was pretty cool this game was pretty cool to build and then this one so i guess that's a little, I feel like I'm giving too much pros, but I got to give some sort of like negatives, cons. And it's not even a con in the content. It's more of a con in the, um, like the user experience, the code. So essentially for this one, it's like a full editor, like add a cart type thing. And for some reason, the, the link, the website he used for icons was outdated. So like when he's teaching it, you couldn't visually see the icons unless you added a different link that he supplied. So that was just like a little like issue. It's not... It doesn't deter away from the actual knowledge of the content. It just happened to be the website that he used for the icons. Just they just stopped updating or just stopped working. So he updated with a different link. But that's just like a little negative on that part. And I mean, there's not really... I can't really say anything that's about the actual content. There's nothing that I was like, man, this is boring or this is lame. Like I, I literally watched this extremely quick. Probably the fastest I've ever consumed a course and actually managed to get majority of it. Now again, not everything I absorbed like crazy quick. Some stuff I got lost on, but it felt weird. Like I felt like I actually was understanding what I was visually seeing on this course. So maybe that's just why React works, that it's easier to understand versus like JavaScript. But then again, I'll have to check JavaScript Bootcamp and see how different that is to there. But again, this is my thoughts on Scrimba's React Bootcamp and their overall platform. And I'll definitely, make more videos on my thoughts on that. So if you do want to see any future videos, definitely subscribe down below and hit that like button. Let me know if you are interested in this course or if you've even taken any of their free courses and let me know your thoughts about that. And then any other competitors out there or even other resources that you think might be even better, definitely link those down below. And aside from that, I will see you in the next video. Peace.